Hey, it's Roger. I'm on location in Indian Trail. And by the way, if you're looking for a new house, you do know the number to call, right? Yeah, you got it. 704. That's it. Hey, this is the Galloway 2 plan. MI Homes. They have the best structural warranty in the business, 15 years. The reason I want to spotlight this house today is that you can build this really reasonably in the 360 to 380-ish range, and you got plenty of bedrooms, lots of possibilities. Now, this one's got some blue tape because, hey, it's being punched uh, for a, uh, a closing and a move, so this one's not available, but, uh, you know, there are oftentimes if you go into a model and they don't have one of their plans for you to see, a video like this could be helpful. So now this is a formal dining room. And again, as always, look how gorgeous these floors are, right? Pretty, beautiful. So don't mind the punch if you never built a new home before. This is very common, and this is actually very mild uh, compared to what it could be. And this is all just part of the process, guys. Imperfect people, imperfect materials, and you're gonna have some blue tape. Now this could be a butler's pantry if this Galloway 2 was built with the powder room configuration. Let me just show you that real quick. This uh, buyer opted to put a full bath here, and so that just makes it awful handy, right? If that was just a powder room, then you've got room for that butler's pantry off to the side. And so out here at Indian Trail, North Carolina, right next to Wesley Chapel, in fact, the, uh, the line goes right through this neighborhood. It's called Heritage. Now, you may be familiar with Heritage. I've got a playlist called 55 Plus Heritage. So you, you can build this with or without these doors. And so that means it can either be open, just another formal, a sitting room, but most people are gonna to choose to put these doors on. It gives you a lot of flexibility for a study. So we've got a formal to the left right there. We've got a formal to the right. We talked about that half bath becoming a full bath. Now there's a flex space right here, and I'm, I'm not gonna tease you and show you the, uh, the great room in the kitchen. This is on an angle, so it's got some interesting architectural uh, uh, you know, detail to it. But this is a good size, wow, these windows are big. This has got a good size as a flex space. So what is this for you? Maybe this is your second office. If two of you are working remotely, close those doors, and remember the study doors had glass in them. These can be closed. This could be a toy room for a toddler. I mean, easy, right? You close that door and then have at it. No muss, no fuss. So there's that. Now this great room can be configured a couple of different ways. If you didn't want this flex room, you could build this Galloway too without it and think of how huge that this great room becomes, right? But this is pretty good size right now without it. So I think most people are gonna opt for having another flex space there that would give them the ability uh, to you know, basically have a playroom, an office, a workout room, or whatever. So a lot of great choices were made here on everything from uh, the pendant lights you know, to the granite, nice. And uh, I love a window over the sink. That's old school. And uh, you do have an option. Most people use gas, but you do have an option for electric there. This is great. This, is, this just reminds me of the 1950s, guys. And yes, I was present during the 1950s. <laughs> so this, this island faces there. A lot of people like the island facing the great room, but there's nothing written in stone on that. It comes with a little pad here. You can get the concrete enlarged. You could actually put a covered patio or screen room there. Very nice, right? So here we go. And here's one thing that uh, MI Homes does that I think is so cool. What well, they call this the E-Zone or something where you can, you know, charge up all your, your phones and your, put your purse, your laptop there coming in from uh, <clears throat> the garage and you always know where it is. So guys, interesting too upstairs, which we're going to go, where is Jack the real estate dog when you need him now? Let's go, Jack. No, he's not here. Again, a window. See, things like this letting light in, very strategic, very strategic. Now this is amazing. Could you build this with uh, a fifth bedroom? You can, but th I think it would really feel closed in. This just big loft space, this is perfect. So how would you use this? Is it a pool table? Is it a ping pong table? Is it a 120 inch TV, a projector? I don't know. This is beautiful though, it's big. 
And what it does is it also offers you some separation uh, in this Galloway 2 from uh, the other bedrooms. Because again, uh, maybe one of you is working remotely up here. Maybe this is uh, a home school room. Uh, we don't know what, what's going to happen with school this year, right? So maybe you have a school room. Maybe that school room is this room, right? Could be. You could use that big screen TV as part of your educational program. Now you've got a shared bath up here. So you've got a couple of sinks, under mount rectangulars, nice. So we just saw one bedroom back in the corner. Here's another bedroom up in the front. Beautiful sunny day today, the greater Charlotte area. Again, space like right there for another homework desk. And then a little bump out there on this bedroom, nice looking. Yeah, so again, you've got place for furniture. I'm always looking for space like that. Put a desk, put a dresser. So not see, I'm, I'm at the point now where I can't count the bedrooms. A uh, bunch of them, right? <laughs> so we just hit three with one full bath there. Let's hit the master. Guys, give me a call. I've got a team of great broker partners and uh, I'm out shooting five to 10 videos a week these days, which uh, I've, I've heard is quite helpful uh, for those of you that are considering a move, getting to know some of the floor plans, some of the model homes. Again, guys, put a desk, table, something, uh, plenty of space. And so I, my team of broker partners will be the ones to take you to show you houses, to get you across the finish line. They're very good. In fact, I just called a couple of their names to the sales agent here at Heritage. She goes, oh, I love him. Oh, I love her. So I've got some just great people with great reputations, real service oriented, make it fun for you and, uh, and, and enjoyable. So you want to give me a call. I do handle the phone calls. Sometimes people get surprised when I answer the phone. It's like, hey, yeah, Jack's here too. You want to talk to Jack? 704-345-3400. And then of course, this is a nice granite uh, with undermount sinks as well. And a good size shower. Got lots of choices here. I do like the MI Homes. If you build from dirt, their design center is great. And they've got a great reputation here in town. So guys, give me a call at 704-345-3400. If you see a house on your Zillow search, first of all, you should be on rogerholloway.com, not Zillow, right? <laughs> get over there. If you see something that could work for you, just pick up the phone. Let's see if we can get a video for you to help educate you on all of that. And the thing I didn't talk about about Heritage is that not only is there a section with 55 plus, but the MI section of over 100 homes is a great mixture of ranch and two stories. And it's a great location. So give me a call and I'll see you in the next video.